Hello lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. Do you also want to use PCG to populate your landscape with lush forests but don't want it spawning on top of a mountain? Have you also tirelessly searched for a height based filter for your PCG points but haven't had any luck? Well today I am going to show you two ways you can cull points by height. One is a more simple way and the other gives you a bit more nuanced control over the points. So the simple, the primitive, the most dirty way to cull by height is to limit the height of the PCG volume you are using. Just like that. No points above this height. Ta-da! No really, it is that simple. However, if you thought that was a joke, then you need to believe that not everything needs to be super complicated and see how the second method works. Spoiler, it is a bit complicated. So you know how you sample a surface and you get so many points on it, right? Do you also know what these various shades of black and white are on these points when you debug them? Apparently, these are density values. And if you don't understand then, let me demonstrate exactly what I mean by that. Before anything else, drag a connection out of your surface sampler and add an execute blueprint node. From here, search height to density. Now if you debug this, you should see an interesting pattern emerge in the color of your points. Assuming white stands for density value 1 and black stands for density value 0, you can see that your points get assigned a density value from low to high with increasing height. Now, if I add a density filter to this and start filtering based on the values, You should see that I can select the points I need and cull the rest of them. You can also control the fall off of the points using the values in height to density node. And that's it. Like and comment on the video if it was helpful and if you want to see some more content on BCG. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks and have a nice day.